At InvestBuild, we often get asked, how do I finance my build? Today, I'll be sharing four elements that will help you to better understand the financing process. Make sure you understand your affordability. My suggestion would be approach your banker and get a pre-approval done on your affordability or the amount that you want to spend. Once we've got that number, we've got a peg in the ground. Once we know what we can afford and want to spend on the project, the next step would be to go and source a suitable stand. I often have come across clients that get very excited during this phase and spend too much on the actual stand versus what the build cost would be. It's very important to make sure your spending ratio between stand and actual building cost is aligned. Having said the above, this is a very difficult process and a lot of our clients do struggle with this. From an investable point of view, we have an affiliated list of architects that we will introduce you to once you've selected your stand. We will then be involved in the design process and to cost your version 1 design to ensure that the land cost versus the build cost makes sense and it falls within your specific parameters. To encapsulate all of the above, InvestPool do understand return on investment in the property market. We will make sure that you tick the relevant boxes to maximize your return on your investment. Keep your cash in your pocket. There is a lot of upfront costs that need to be covered during the building process before the bank gets involved. It is advisable to get an overarching building loan across the land and the actual construction site. This will ensure that you can cover any shortfall and you've got enough money available to cover upfront costs like your architect, engineer, homeowner's insurance, council approval fees. As with any project, there's a lot of admin involved when it comes to bank approval. You will require the following documents for a successful application. A contract between the construction company and the client, an all risk insurance policy, NHPRC enrollment from the contractor side, a schedule of finishes that will provide detail on what is included in the contract and what not, and a tender value. And of course, InvestPool can assist you with all of the above. So how do we access the building bond? As banks usually only finance 90% of building projects, should there be a client shortfall, this will have to be covered by the client. From a contractor point of view, we usually have to show 10% progress before the bank will send out an assessor and release the first draw. 